Hello Aries, I hope you've all been well. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this will be a reading for the 10th to the 16th of January. Uh, please bear in mind that these are general readings, so it may not resonate for everybody. So please take what does and leave what doesn't. Um, and if you like the reading, please like, share and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. So uh, for this week, we have the coffee cup reading as well as um, three questions towards the end that you can ask where I will uh, have the pendulum help guide us to the answer where you have a yes, no, and a maybe. Okay, so let's see what we have for you, Aries. Okay. Mm. Um, oh, this is interesting. Um, I see Aries, it seems like you've been trying to do two um, very different things at the same time. One that you feel is a necessity in some way and the other um, something that's closer to your heart having a balance there's a lot of balance here between work and family you're trying to keep something afloat i see here that um you know the the universe is really trying to pull you towards something um and at the same time you're really really trying to get to the nitty and gritty of, of other things that you're trying to accomplish within yourself. So there's the outer bit, uh, which is possibly, you know, maybe um, being out there in the workforce, but there's something else that you want to establish as well. So you're trying to like have the means to be able to have um, the freedom for your creativity, if that makes sense for some of you out there. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's progressing really, really well. And I see that you are doing a lot of things to be able to maintain that. Um, and I, I feel that you're getting a lot more knowledge um, in, in a certain particular field where people perhaps did not expect that. So, you know, I, I feel if you are in a new job or you're in your current job right now, Maybe some people may be undermining you in some sense, but I feel like they they will be quite surprised for when you actually start to show what you're capable of in terms of your knowledge and skills. Um, and and then there's like a newfound respect towards you. So perhaps they, they really um, didn't expect that because you remain quite humble. But then as soon as you show what you know, it kind of throws everybody um, off, but in a good way for you. So um, just be aware of your surroundings, Aries, of, um, you know, of, of any kind of uh, negative energy from other people. It's something you really, really don't need because you have... Um, you have such great focus and ideas about other things that you want to do. And that's something that, you know, um, will bring you a lot of luck. There is a lot of luck here. There's like two big elephants there, the face of elephant, which, you know, brings you great luck in your stability um, in your life, both financially and emotionally, spiritually. Um, you're really gaining a lot of wisdom here. I feel like there's a key that you're about to get and open the door to um, to the success that you've been working towards. Um, not right away, but you're definitely on the right path. There's also news that has been long, long, long coming um, that is still on its way, but it's on its way. That's what, you know, it, it's, it's wanting you to know. It's, it's, it's getting there. And it'll come at the right time for you. It may even make you feel nervous because it's such a, 
um, an exciting thing. It may it may really change a few things in your life or change the course of your life in that sense. But um, but you're establishing something within yourself and around you. Um, and I feel like people are coming towards you, Aries, for guidance. People are now starting to go to you for that. Um, and I definitely feel like you're always kind of saved by something, whether it's uh, some, um, you know, a spiritual guide that you have, more than one actually, that uh, whenever you feel like you're troubled or in trouble or confused about something, you always get um, shown the way. You will always be directed to the way you're supposed to go. Um, see a lot of feminine energy here as well for you, Aries. Um, there may be so someone of feminine energy that is wanting to get close to you. Um, there's a lot of compassion there for you. Um, and that's another thing you have. You're, you're, there is a lot of compassion having uh, going around here, and it's like you have been really trying to hold on to uh, this idea or this project, this this kind of new way of of being, of living, um, a new uh, path that you want to take. And it may have been a bit of a struggle, but remember that the other kind of um, the other side that that you feel like you need to get on with to be able to bring you um, the material gains in order for you to kind of survive, you know, or like um, flourish in that sense. So you don't have to worry about other things that you want to continue doing, like if it's create something creative or spiritually, um, it's, it's all being taken care of. You know, you have a great mind, you have the intelligence. It's just saying like, the, if you keep going, it's, it's going to be really, really good. You're going to get land into a, a space, a place where you will find the right people um, to communicate with. But again, I do see people coming towards you and you have that kind of luck. You have that kind of luck where you find the right kind of people. Um, it just be aware of, of the others that, um, you know, are not expecting this greatness from you. Um, and I do sense that, you know, there is something that will be lifted off your shoulders, a weight that will be lifted off your shoulders. You're going to, um, I come, I, I'm seeing something about your faith, combining your faith with your everyday living. I sense that your faith is getting stronger, whatever that may be to you. It's something that getting stronger and stronger and that it builds a wall of protection for you that doesn't allow you to get drowned in any um, negative situations. You don't allow that anymore. And uh, I feel like with love also, Aries, um, again, it's something to do with compassion. There's a great understanding to um, what you and another person want to do with each other's li with your life, with their life. And um, it's, it's important to take some time out. And that's what may be coming, taking some time out to take a deep breath to um, just align everything together. Because there's a great trust um, and love between you, if, if those of you in a relationship, and you want to um, maintain that balance. So in order um, to do that, it's saying that taking some time out to breathe is a very, very positive thing for you. That creates more strength in this relationship or possibly even a friendship. Um, so it doesn't have to be a love relationship, but there is some saying, you know, important to take a step back. And this is something positive because it creates more love um, and a clearer vision for you. But there is great togetherness here 
and it's very strong. Um, and, uh, you know, new people are coming in as well. So you are attracting a lot of love. Um, just keep your eyes open to your surroundings. Um, and, and uh, you know, have that faith within you. There is a light being sh shone here um, to help guide you. And you're not on your own having to carry all this weight. So it's really, really positive. There's, you know, you're really being able to balance both your your creative side and your other um, side that um, needs to gain the material wealth in order for you to continue the other side as well. We, you will reach that point. Um, and also a balance between, uh, I did say in the beginning, between family and and. Um, and your other relationships. So um, trust that all of that will, uh, you know, be ironed out. It's just a matter of time. And don't feel like everything is on you. Okay. All right, Aries, let's get on with the questions. So think of three questions. Think of three questions. Um, and I'll shuffle these. And you can pause the video um to think of your question then when you're ready get the pendulum and then it will help guide us to the answer needed for now it's either yes no or maybe so the pendulum can either go left right or stay in the middle so for yes no or maybe please for the first question Okay, looks like it's this one. Is this the card? Yes, okay. Let's see what this answer is to your question. It is a no. And the no could be um, just a straight out no, but it also could be just not the right timing for now. You know, could, there's many different reasons depending on your question. It could also mean um, it's, it's, you know, something I feel like, I feel like you're protected. If that makes sense to some of you out there, really uh, see a great protection within you. Okay, For, think of your second question now. Okay. When you're ready, please guide us to the answer for the second question for Aries, please. Mm, looks like it is the, yep, okay, <laughs> definitely the middle card. Okay, what is the answer to this? It is a maybe. So maybe there's more than one way to look at it. You know, maybe it's, it's, it's saying that it's completely in your hands either way. Okay, and for the third and final question... When you are ready, Aries. Okay, please guide us to the answer for the third question for Aries, please. For the third question. Mm hmm Okay, I feel like it's going towards, is it this card? Yeah, okay. Oh, again, it's a maybe. So again, it could be that, it, I mean, it's always a positive because I feel like the maybe is, well, there's something else you need to look into. There's something else you need to dig deeper into. Something you need to maybe discover or um, maybe you need to take your time on. Again, it could work out either way as well. Okay, Aries, I hope um, that helped in some way. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and please take care of yourselves. 
stay safe and I definitely look forward to the next one. Thank you so much.